Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mark Ford Modder. I'm here to do the first video in a pretty big series of videos that I plan on doing um, all about uh, my Air Ride install on my Mark IV Jetta. Uh, Air Ride is something I've been wanting to get for quite some time and just haven't really had the finances to do so until now. Uh, I just recently ordered my Air Ride kit and should be here sometime this week. I think it got hung up uh, because of the holiday, uh, today's Memorial Day, so obviously ain't nothing getting shipped out. But uh, pretty excited to get started. So I just wanted to kind of go through a quick little preparation for doing your air ride. What you should do to plan ahead. First things first, obviously, get your air ride kit. Uh, go ahead and research what you want. There's all kinds of brands out there, uh, from airbags and air management. So there's lots to choose from. You got brands like uh, Airlift, you got AccuAir, uh, and there's a, a bunch of others. You can go online and find every single one that you could think of and, and they're out there to look at. So plan ahead, get your budget out and figure out what you can do. Plan on at least I'd say $2,500 bare minimum uh, in order to do a full air ride kit. So do your research, figure out what kind of air kit you want to go with and make a wise decision. Read reviews, especially if, you know, if you're not doing it on a, on a Volkswagen, you're doing it on a BMW or an Audi or whatever, go ahead and read reviews, find out what people say, what works best for them. With that being said, once you figure out your airlift kit, go ahead and get it ordered up and get it coming. Uh, some, most airlift kits, especially for Volkswagens, um, don't come with rear shocks. I also had to plan that into my budget. I ended up going with the Coney yellow adjustable shocks for the rear. Let's see. Actually get those out, I'll show you right here. But I ended up picking up these shocks. Um, I got them off the internet. Uh, I think it was about $200 for the pair. So plan on getting yourself some good rear shocks. You're gonna want that support in the back end of the car. I got the fully adjustables just so we can get them set up and dialed in to whatever ride height I plan to drive the car around in. Also in your budget, plan on little miscellaneous things, fittings uh, for the airlines depending on how you want to set things up, um, and any kind of materials you may need depending on how you want to do your trunk setup. Which leads me to section two of planning. Obviously putting the, the struts and bags in are pretty straightforward. You just install them in place of your springs and struts. Some modification may be required depending on the vehicle. I know the biggest thing you want to think about before you even get your air ride set up is how you're going to put your trunk set up together. Uh, with an airlift kit, if you don't know this already, you're going to get a tank and a compressor and a control unit that usually go in the trunk of the car. Um, and these objects can take up quite a bit of space, so you want to think about where you want to put them, how you want to get them put together, and whether you want your trunk to be fully functional or you want it to be really stylish and show it off. So if you're doing a show car, get crazy with it and do some wild things. You know, plan that out. Plan out the materials you're going to need, uh, do all your measuring, get whatever you need together, and, and plan that out before you even get started on putting your suspension together because it's just going to take more time. Um, so, you know, go ahead and Google air ride trunk setups and you're going to come across all kinds of crazy things. Um, I myself am going for something a little more form and function um, and we'll do that in a f uh, future video of how I'm putting that trunk set up together so maybe give you an idea of what you might want to do with yours. Um, you can go from complete exposed setups to real simple. Uh, you can completely hide them uh, and uh, you can hide them in the uh, spare tire well. I've seen people do that. There's all kinds of options. So think about that. Read into it plan ahead and know what you want to do. Another aspect of preparations is where you're going to do your install if you're going to do it yourself, uh, having the proper tools to do the install and having the time. Uh, time is probably the biggest issue. I myself um, have this car as just a toy. Uh, I do have a daily driver that I can drive in the meantime while I'm working on this so I have all the time in the world to put my air ride together. Uh, so really time is no, no issue with me but now if your car is a daily driver and you have to have it plan that time out. I plan at least 
24, possibly even 48 hours to get that air ride installed. Because uh, once you install it, you're going to want to inflate the bags, you're going to want the car sit overnight to make sure there's no leaks in any of the airline fittings, anything like that. And if there are, you're going to need a whole other day to try to find out where those leaks are. Because Lord knows you don't want to put your air ride together, drive to work, and then you come out and your car sitting like this. So, you don't want to do that. So plan ahead, plan the time, plan the place. Uh, Some place where your car can at least sit for probably two days. Uh, make sure you got plenty of tools. Air tools help. They're not necessary, but they are nice. And also, get a friend. Have a friend help you out. Um, having a second pair of hands around is always handy. I myself have torn apart my car so many times and put coilovers and springs and everything that I'm pretty comfortable tearing apart my suspension by myself. But if you're not comfortable doing it or never done it, find someone who has. Get somebody to help you. So it's, it all comes into to planning. Uh, once you plan that out, you made the decision you want to go air versus coilovers, go ahead and rock and roll, get her done, plan it out and get it done right, and then enjoy your air ride once you get it all set up. So hopefully soon I'll be getting my air ride later this week and we can start uh, doing the install. I'm going to do an unboxing of the kit when I get it, just kind of go through some of the bits and pieces that it comes with. Uh, I'm also going to do another video on a pre-prep of what I'm going to start doing in order to prepare for the air ride before I even get it. Um, seeing as how I have lots of time with my car, I'm going to start tearing apart the interior trim to make room for wires and stuff that got to run through the car. I'm going to start tearing apart my trunk, tearing out the liner and everything I need to get my trunk set up going. Uh, probably the back seats are going to have to come out in order to run some wires and some lines. So there's some pre-preparation stuff that I want to go through just real quick and I'll make probably a quick video and a quick tear down um, so you can kind of see how that preparation goes and have the car ready I may even go as far as already starting to pull out the front struts or the rears uh, so that way when I get the kit I can just start bolting stuff right back in so anyway uh, thanks for watching hope this was uh, an educational video and help you plan for doing air ride to your own car uh, keep tuned for the rest of the videos coming along in this series uh, so we can get show you how I do the install, we can show you how we're doing the trunk setup and all that stuff, cutting lines. Um, this is the first time I've done an air ride setup, so we're all going to be learning together. But uh, for right now, keep on modding and stay tuned for the next episode.